Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. Without further ado, let's uh do what we were doing last time and make a phone call. Pick up already. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen. All I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you <laughs> could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Um, the... Uh, clowns! Do you know about clowns? What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Um, how about this you dude? Know a guy called Plantar. No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. You sure you don't know who this is? I expect Plantar's a family man. Don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy, <laughs> huh? The faithful puppy dog, waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. Um, why can't I get into my inventory and ask about the fabric? Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Alright. Oh, I can call him back, but let's call her. Hello, Nico Kulas. Hello? It's George. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Look, why don't you come here to my apartment later this afternoon? Uh, fine. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come over. I was used to working alone, but I had to admit it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone, and fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? How did he know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there, but who was on which side? One thing I did know, I wasn't going to get the answer sitting at my desk. I guess we're playing as her now. All right. What's her inventory? Oh, she has a lot of stuff. Paralias Royal Peter Carchon interview. All right. I know what I'm gonna do, so I'm checking in my room, looking for stuff. Hello. The box was carved by my father. It never had a key. The elephant on the lid was a perfect match to Cochon's. No, nope, I don't think the elephant's gonna fit. Wait. Okay, I was just. Nope. 
The box was one of the few things my father left me. The elephant on the lid was... Most likely I'm gonna smash this elephant to get the key, right? I'm just guessing. Okay, let's, uh... And I have to put it back. Nothing else in here takes any interest. Okay. What is this? Is it the table? Everyone will be seated for the standing and sitting scenes. What's this? My first Teddy. Never had a boyfriend as loyal as him. I'm betting I shouldn't leave. Or should I? Mamzer Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? <laughs> Just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called John Mark, who runs a patisserie in Le Touquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. Ask about the cousin whose face we actually know, because we've never met this person. It makes complete sense we know what they look like. Of course. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Well, back to my room to expect... So, where had my pretty new cousin hidden her little bug, eh? I was going to have to search everywhere. Either in my teddy bear? My first teddy. Undisturbed. No bugs there. Uh, photos? It was a photograph of my father. The first one I ever took. With the first camera he ever bought me. They hadn't placed the bug on the photo. Alright. It'd be obvious to search my phone. Oh, right here. You have no messages. Whatever this is. Ah, music. I guess it is the phone then. No, there wasn't anyone that I needed to call. I should probably turn that off. Stop it! Stop it! I'm trying to turn you off! You know what? Fine, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, we'll be off when I get back. Thank you. No. The table. Ah, this thing. No, probably not that. I checked the teddy bear. I checked everything over here, I think. Uh, 
Is the bug in my box? The box was carved by my but the The box was one of the few things the elephant on the lid, but that small metal disc underneath it in the chest was a recent addition. Oh Oh, cher cousine. You left me a little present. You shouldn't have. Aha! You don't scare me. Especially. All right, bug's gone. Should I call now? Well, I guess now it's safe for George to come over. There wasn't anyone that. I guess we can leave now. Well, let's ask her a question. Bonjour, bonjour, mademoiselle. The, cousin. the woman who claimed to be my cousin. Could you describe her again? Well, she was your height, a tail lighter than yours, but otherwise she was very like you. But with impeccable manners, of course. I bet. Hmm. Elephant. What do you think of this carving? It's nice, but I wouldn't flash it around this neighborhood. Okay. What do you think of my hair clip? Very nice. One day I might be able to afford one of those, mademoiselle. Do you know anything about this boat ticket? No, mademoiselle. I am not a tourist office. <laughs> we must ask all the questions. Take a look at this cloth. It looks expensive. Did you steal it? Uh, well, no, of course not. <laughs> yes, I did, apparently. No. Ever seen a safe key like this? In my business, I don't come across many safes. What do you think of this shell case? I think whoever stopped that one must have a sore bottom. Um, what's I this? I don't suppose you're any good at unraveling codes. My beautiful grandmother was a cryptologist for the resistance. But all I inherited were her good looks. Um, okay. What do you make of this message? It will take you on a journey that begins where it ends. In laughter, and in tears, in sadness, and in joy. You got all that from this paper? No, it's from a song I heard it on the radio this morning. <laughs> okay, how about this photo? It wouldn't be sensible to let her know about Carchon. I took this stone cylinder from a safe. Interesting. Let me give you a word of advice. If you ever want to know what is written on it, you should smear it with paint and then roll it on paper. What? It's a gift, mademoiselle. I never question it. Wow, actually, she gave us a help. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. I think I already figured it out, but I wonder, could I have talked to her before? Oh, I can go places. Let's go over here. Where's George? Shouldn't he be here? George! Where are you? George is in here. Weird, I just talked to him like five minutes ago. Hello, could I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. Bit late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. Uh... The cop. Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. Alright. So the body's been removed? I certainly hope so, or it'll stink to high heaven when they take down these boards. Shouldn't you check? Are you kidding? 
They don't pay me enough to put up boards, let alone check for dead bodies. Um, Tell this. me, are you related to the workman I saw digging the old? Don't talk to me about flabage. Okay. He just won a fortune on the horses and he won't give me a cent. Well, it's his money. When he was broke, he was happy to touch me for a loan. Brothers should look after each other, he used to say. He's changed his tune now he's brassed up. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. Heroes will pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best smile and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. Uh, just give me a minute to do my hair. Uh, oh, I can go in, because he's distracted. The police had removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. This will be a long minute, dude. Uh, it's almost right. It's almost perfect. Just give us a second. My camera needs a little bit of fixing. Some journalists drink on the job, not me. Okay, not that one. Can I pick it up? Some uh, uh, The mirror. I can click on the mirror. Oops. Stupid thing. Uh, oh, I can look at it. Hello. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. Um... Can I? From this. Can I? Oh, I must have to move out. It. Okay, let's grab it. Behind the table were some damaged pipes. And a mysterious package. Voila! The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind of pouch. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Carchon's organization. I was on the right track. Anything else? Oh. There was nothing of interest beyond some bloody debris. Okay, nothing here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can touch. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Hey, what about my photos? Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Camera. Oh, I forgot. It broke. Hello. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman had fooled him easily enough. And found the evidence the police had missed. Well, I'm just gonna get out of here. Wait, nope, 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 nope. I gotta show him all my stuff. Hello? Yes? Gotta show you everything, man. What do you think of this pouch? Very nice. Takes me back to my posing days. Posing? What? Art school. With a body like mine, I was never out of work. I can show you if you like. I'd rather uh, uh, not. I've only just eaten. <laughs> Elephant. Do you like this coughing? It's the kind of thing you pick up for a couple of euros at Les Puces de saint ouen Alright. Uh, this. Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you think I am? A plumber? Uh, what does that have to do with plumbing? I'm seriously asking, what does it have to do with plumbing? Would you like this air clip? What do you take me for? Some kind of a pervert? Uh, what? You see this ticket? Are you trying to bribe me? No. I don't blame you, of course. Good looking fella like me. Take a look at this. I don't like lessy hankies. They scratch my nose. I can see how that must be a problem for you. Key. He wouldn't be interested. Um, this. Would you recognize this? That is the key to a safe. A warrant a special, if I'm not mistaken. I'm kind of surprised you knew what that was. What do you think of my shell case? Are you in the scrap business? Of yes. Of course not. I mean, no. I've got some rubbish just like that I need to get rid of. Wait, what? <laughs> he wouldn't be interested in a substitution cipher. You don't know that. Look at this secret message. Very nice. But it's not secret now, is it? It's just a message. Fair enough. Do you know this man? 
He looks like a nasty piece of work. I had an uncle who was with the fascists, but we never talk about him. What happened to him? How should I know? We never talk about him. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Wait, we gotta go ask the flower lady about the pouch. We have a new item, we have to ask her about it. It's I part wondered what was in Plantard's pouch. I wondered... I want to ask people what it is before I open it up first, you know? There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Uh, I can't go in this. Oh, oh, what's this? The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. How do you know? A good pipe always comes in handy. Okay, let's see if we can talk to that one dude. Hey, dude. Dude? You there? The door was locked. Okay, only person I could ask was that one dude about the pouch. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. Inside the pouch were two items. A strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. Oh, do not tell me it's in our code. The artifact had a sword laid across scales. There was a picture of Lady Justice on the locked panel in the room below the conciergerie. Okay, let's go ask that one dude. Dude! Item! Gotta show you! Because I want to know what you're going to say about it. Hello? Oh, leave me alone! Yes. There you go. Do you recognize this? It looks like a kid's puzzle piece. Would you like to see this? No. <laughs> All right. Fair enough, dude. I'm gonna go talk about the flower lady. Flower. We need to take a closer look at the objects I found in Plantard's pouch. I guess I can't go talk to the flower lady. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to Another look at this. Another coded message using the same cipher system. Oh, so fun! Plantard was involved with Cochon. Uh, oh no! This is gonna suck. Oh, this is this is gonna suck. I don't remember the last one. No. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I tried looking at the other one previously to figure out if I, uh... If it's the same, but I couldn't tell, so... And then I looked at the hints. Right here, the, these hints. This is the first words plant tar, tarred, so. I'm gonna run off that. Okay, plant tarred. So let's try to figure out. Oh boy. Ooh, this might be S, so let's try that. I'm not the best at ciphers.
Ooh, that's probably I. Trail. Perio. No, that's an E. What was O? What would I click for O? Okay. Pierre. Filled? Maybe it's filled. I'll try that. Ah. No. No, it's, that's probably not. Hmm. Surger? No. Oh, 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 oh. That's M. And then that's U. Murderer. Oh, so that's K. Killed. Pierre killed. Murder must. Eh, give me enough... Give me a little hint. Have blank trail blank blank and blank he I'm guessing that's will. Will Ah, we, me, okay. Pierre's Oh, safe. She Oh, worries. Ah. Plantard killed Pierre. Plantard. Pierre killed. Murder must have followed trail from Arno and blank. He will come. For us now, we must blank. Blank. Vi. There is. Oh, there is girl. Here he is. Oh, that must be girl. Vigilant must. Oh, be must be vigilant. Must be vigilant. I undid P. Okay. Well, only one left. Let's try to figure it out. Nope. Plantard. There it is. Pierre killed. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. And for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story. Whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. All right. So let's uh. The strange metal artifact I found in Plantard's pouch. I pointed back to the keyside. An hour later. Oh, now we're here, again. What are we gonna do this this weird item? Use on this. If that had worked, it would have amazed me. But oh anyway. wait. Just head back inside. The slab was too heavy for me to lift. I I, I gotta do this, don't I? This into that. Gotta do this all over again. Okay. Oh, 
Maybe it's that. Because, like, the symbols look similar. Ha! I was right! Oh, hello! Dad's key fitted the lock, so he must have used this place, too. Uh, oh, oh. A photograph had been torn up. Alright. Must be other part of the other photo. If I could just arrange the pieces. Oh. Uh, I think I know who it is. Yeah, I, I already know who it is. I, I'm looking at it. I recognize... Oh my god. It can't be. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh. Move this one out of the way. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that means that's up there. So this goes here. Ah! Okay, where's the rest of that neck? Ah, here you are. Okay, that means you go here. Okay, it means this is on... And that goes there. And this goes here. These puzzles are much more fun for me to solve. Boom! There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. Papa. Oh, God. After what I'd gone through, I thought I could face anything. But not this. My father... The one person in the whole world who I truly admired, standing with Crachon, while those murderers carried on with their evil work. My father, grinning at the camera. I couldn't believe it. Uh, he, he wasn't really grinning, he was... I realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story, and that I really needed George. Guess we're not going to look at anything else in the, the safe. Um, there was more stuff in there. Oh, boy. And he wasn't really smiling. It more like, uh, kind of look. Oh, now we're George. Talk to the lady. Must show her all the stuff I have. Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to foretell your future? Uh, no thanks. I'm very good, it only takes a minute. Thanks all the same, but I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. <laughs> hey, oh, but talk to this dude. I can't. Do you know a young woman called Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me in the apartment block across the street. The door isn't locked, but you'll need to give it a gentle nudge. It sticks, you see. Because of the doubt. The landlord said he'd fix it before winter sets in. He's been saying that for three years. <laughs> uh. How long has Mademoiselle Collard lived here? A few months. She's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. Drafty windows, insufficient heating. It's a struggle to keep warm. The only reason I stay is because the rent is cheap. Your young lady, she deserves better. Okay. I thought Mademoiselle Collard was a successful photographer. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard her crying herself to sleep at night. That's awful. Now don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud, that one. Too proud, if you ask me. Keep asking. Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man. Tall? And thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden. But I saw his eyes peering from evil little slits. How was he dressed? A long brown raincoat with an hat. Or like Humphrey Bogart. Yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. Besides, this guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his buttocks like that. I, for a second, I thought she was going to say me. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about Mademoiselle Collard? No, monsieur. Flowers! Are the flowers for sale? Oui, monsieur. Okay. 
I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. No? They are lilies, monsieur. Some people associate them with death. Yikes. Thanks for telling me. What other flowers do you have? Dahlias. What do they signify? Insecurity. Hmm. I don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about the tall yellow ones? Those are iris, the flame of passion. And the little yellow ones? Sensuality. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. <laughs> tell my future. I my mind. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. My oh my. What a surprise. Can you tell me anything I don't already know? Can you? How does this fortune telling routine work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. What? Some of us are born with a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. All right. Can you really foretell the future? Only time will tell, monsieur. The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problem. But when I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that, or I don't have a future. Uh. Okay, um, sure, the stuff I have. What do you make of this tool? Is it something a dentist would use? No, it's for raising manhole covers. Formidable. Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. Um, this disgusting thing? What can you tell me about this tissue? Nothing. What can you tell me about this material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. Oh, well. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Will I? Onward and upward, as they always say. Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Oh, I'm betting I probably would have had to, uh... Hi. Bonjour. I'm glad we could make it, monsieur. Uh, please, uh, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. I probably would have had to talk to her anyway, because I probably wouldn't have been able to open the door if I hadn't talked to her. Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers underneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something bad. <coughs> the clown used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? My editor told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? But you're not going to do that. Oh, no. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. It almost feels like some sort of conspiracy. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. <laughs> okay, um... Do you know what this is? This is the tool I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but... Well, I had a job to do. That did not sound like the last audio clip. I'm just saying. The nose. I found this false nose in the sewer. Hey, what's this inside it? The contents of someone's nose? Don't be gross, George. It says La Rise du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint-Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. All right. Disgusting thing. I found this tissue down the sewer. <laughs> That's disgusting, George. No, no, no. I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use or clowns. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. Ugh. Um, fabric. I found a piece of material near the cafe. When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. 
I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George. It's an enlargement I made. All right. What you got there? Look what that guy is wearing. Ah. Checkered pants. The same material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his eye cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Or a crescent moon. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. Uh, of course. Um, how are you doing? Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing much to tell. Well, how'd you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. I was eight, and my parents had just split up. Okay. Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. Okay. Did you learn about photography at college? God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Most of my year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. I think she is. George, she's making fun of us! Or... No, she is making fun of us, I think. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arnaud Bellotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet boom. Imagine it, millions of housewives literally speeding their butts off. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mine to the list, but stopped myself. I really didn't want to have to explain to George about my father's involvement with Cachon. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. <laughs> I don't blame you for being scared. I am too. But this story could be my only chance for a big break. Or an early death. Both are very fair and legi legitimate reasons. I have to go. Okay. I'll see you later. I have to... Just leave! Have no information? Uh-huh. Wait. Back at Nico's in Nico's apartment. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh. I don't go outside this. That's weird. No, I'm I leaving. Have to go. Okay. I'll see you later. Then why did you come back? I I I, I want to talk to the old lady, but somehow I teleport into your house. I don't know why. Oh I hi. Bonjour, Monsieur. How's your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Maybe not yet. But I see your palms entwined in the future. I doubt it. This photo. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Oh, what a hum. He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes stay tall. Guess. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Thank you for, for that very detailed information. At least I don't have to walk to the edge of the screen. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, that's the costume shop. Don't want to go there yet. That's where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> he probably won't let me back in. I wanted to show him the picture. Dude, I got a picture of the guy. Is this the guy you wrangled? Hi there. Remember me? Ah, mais oui, Inspector. Have you found him? Who? The man in the sewer, of course. I'm, uh, sifting through the evidence. Ah, uh, rather you than me, monsieur. So, uh, uh, when you are not uh, exploring sewers, uh, what do you do? I take a lot of showers. Oh, 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 oh very good, monsieur. <laughs> a policeman with a sense of humor. Hi there. Rem huh? Who? I'm... Ah, so I take... Oh. 
Uh, I guess I have to show him the picture. Hi there, remember me? Ah, who? I'm, uh, ah, so I take a lot of... Oh. I guess I can't talk to him. I thought maybe I could show him the... the photo, but oh well. Okay, that guy's gone. So I guess there's no one here, okay. Oh, that's where I just was. That's where I'm supposed to go. Ah, this one. Police station. Of course. It's just the most logical place. Excuse me. Not so fast. I'd like your personal details, please. Huh? What for? In the event of an accident. It would help us to know where to send the body. What? Look, is this really necessary? I came in here to talk to Rosso. Ah, uh, why did you not say? He's not here. But do you wish to leave a message for him? I have a choice of blue or black pen. I'd recommend the blue for a less formal communication. I'd prefer to talk to him in person. As you wish, monsieur. How about this dude? Is Sergeant Moo available? What? You want to speak to him? Yes, please. I cannot recall the last time someone asked to speak to Moo. No one ever speaks to him. Not even his kid. Oh! Ah, bien. He's not here, monsieur. He is with Inspector Rosso, like Laurel and Kitten. No, monsieur? Hardy. Oliver Norville Hardy. Okay, you know what this is? Have you any idea what this tool is used for? Oui, monsieur. It is a dip stick. This that this guy. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur, I do not. I have no memory for faces. <sighs> the nose? I found this red nose near the Café de la Chandelle Verte. A clown's nose? That's right. The guy who wore this is a savage killer. If you say so, monsieur. I found this tissue. I... What the hell is that? It's evidence. Evidence of what? Mayonnaise smuggling? The sticky stuff is grease paint. Ah. And that is supposed to make me happy, is it? I suggest you think long and hard about what you are doing with your life, monsieur. I don't think you're very helpful. Your help, officer. I'm gonna go, uh, back to the phone call. Yep, to the phone! I'm gonna try calling that one dude more one one more time now that I have some more details about his client. Hello? Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? Ah. Did you make a suit for a man with a scar on his face? A scar in the shape of a crescent moon? Maybe. Maybe not. Tell me where I can find him and I'll leave you alone. And if I don't, I won't leave you alone. <laughs> I can't tell you anything unless you give me his name. That is fair enough. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Probably doesn't remember. I could be one of those people. I don't. I have a bad time with names, but I remember faces. That's one of my problems. Like, I'm one of those people who can remember faces, but can't place the name to the face. I know a guy who. He knows names, but can't place faces. But anyway, I'll catch you guys next time when we go here. <laughs> Till then, stay classy, internet. Toodles.